Hi everyone, today I am going to a beater and I'm going to get my scalp analyzed at one of the biggest malls in Houston, Texas. So if you guys want to see this video, the full vlog, you can check our family channel, DN Vlogs Live. But let's go! So many, so many, so many mistakes I made, I'm living. So it's a scalp consultation. So okay. Right. Well, the first thing is to put the scalp in here. So oh yeah. I put for my daughter. Oh yeah. Which is my blogger of the day. Hey. Yeah. So yeah. All right. So um, tell me a little bit more about your hair. What are you concerned with? Um, do you have any concerns with like your hair just in general? Any dryness? Any breakage? Or any hair fall? Is it frizz? Well, my hair, um, it's pretty okay, um, but once in a while I get a lot of shedding. Shedding? Okay, yeah, well, so fallouts, fall mm -hmm. and then, um, but it goes up and down, okay. and um, I take medications. So. Okay. Um, then sometimes my scalp gets a little bit drier. Okay. I don't, like when I wash my hair, I only put like oils on my scalp, maybe once or twice a week. Mm -hmm. I try not to suffocate my scalp too much. Okay. Um, Sometimes the ends get a little bit drier, than, okay. you know, than it would go overall. It's it's doing okay. It's doing okay. Uh, yeah, the edges and you know, the yeah. Okay. So, but overall, it's it's okay. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, what would you like to improve with your hair, just in general? Um, like, is it um, let's say reducing the shedding or reducing the breakage, adding bush fur, doing some curls? Okay, for me, I think it's reducing the shedding. Okay. Um, and just, yeah. And I think sometimes it gets very freezy. Mm -hmm. uh, if I'm not careful, <laughs> it just freeze up on me. Freeze up, and okay. of course, volume. You know, yeah, volume. Volume. Okay, yeah. all right. And how often do you wash your hair? Once a week. Once a week. Lately. <laughs> it used to be twice a week. Twice a week. Okay. Because some busy. Oh, yeah. And whenever you do wash, write me to a little bit more about what you do. Do you do anything? Deep conditioner, yeah. do you shampoo and conditioner? Or okay, so whenever I wash, you know, I'll first detangle it, pre or you know, and then I'll shampoo it mm -hmm. and then um, deep condition. Mm -hmm. And after deep conditioning, then I will moisturize it. There's a leave in and okay. moisturize it still with some butter. Okay. And then put some a little bit of gel. Like from like today I'm going out, it's very humid outside. Yeah, so you do a little I bit use, of gel to I put a little bit of gel just to hold it mm -hmm. and set it in place. Okay, okay, perfect. So, alrighty, do you use any kind of heat in your hair? Do you use blow-dry flat iron? No, maybe like once every year. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> <Not so often. laughs> it's, not up it's just lately that I've been really getting into trying to use heat, but mm -hmm. I'm trying to stay away from using it so much. I do it for as experiment-wise, because I have a channel. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay, yeah. I'm going to go ahead and feel your hair strands, check for porosity and elasticity. And then after that, we're also going to take a picture of the scalp to see how your scalp is doing, okay? Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and just see here. And typically with like more like curlier textured hair, mm -hmm. it is a little bit more on the dry side, which is like completely normal. It just means that it's a little bit more moisture. Okay. And it looks like it, your hair does need a little bit more moisture, so I'm going to recommend something for that. Okay. Tell me a little bit more about the, the, the shedding. Do you feel like it's a, you, you notice a lot of fallouts in the shower or like a little bit of a Well, for me, I do a lot of finger detangling most of the time. 
Yeah. Um, the shedding is usually like when, you know, when I'm getting ready to wash my hair, mm -hmm. you know, and it, it comes oh, out. Oh, I see. Yeah. yeah. And so, usually like a foam detangle, like one stick before you wash your hair? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I would probably say like that would be like maybe pretty normal only okay. because um, whenever, because the way that it works science wise, we lose anywhere between like 50 to 100 hair shreds like, every day. Yeah. You know, so because of the fact that like you are detangling whenever you wash it, because we curl hair, we can't detangle every day. Yeah, it's yeah. Impossible. Yeah. So whenever you are detangling, you have this hair that needs to like come off, uh -huh. art coming out. Okay. So I think it is pretty normal. Yeah. As far as like, um, are you concerned with like tangles? Oh, uh, mine doesn't tangle so much, okay. and it usually go, does well. Okay. Know, with the tangles. Yeah. And I usually don't mess around with my hair too much during the day because I'm so busy. Yeah, yeah, but, yeah. Um, for sure. Yeah. Um, okay, so. I, I will definitely recommend something um, for you today too um, to kind of help with also, um, just in case you are concerned a little bit more about the ballots, we'll definitely address that so we can see. I do want to take a picture of the scalp. Okay. So we can see how your scalp is doing. So I'm going to take it on the side. Okay. Alright, so this is a picture of your scalp. Over here, there is a little bit of build up. I'd probably say a little bit of oil build up. Okay. Okay. This is what a balanced scalp should look like. Okay. And I see a little bit of oil go down. Okay, here. do we get it? We zoom in. <laughs> yeah, I'm too zoom in. Okay, so all that white stuff is built up. It's a little bit of build up. Mm -hmm. Okay. So right now, I would probably say you do have a little bit of oil build up. This is oily level one. Okay. Oily level two, probably around a oily level three. Where are you? Ah, three. There we go. Okay. But I do know that you said you apply products over in the hair. Yeah. It can be also because of that. Of the product. Um, okay. But as far as like, unless you're like, if you're not experiencing any kind of like itching or anything no. like that, I think it's pretty okay. Um, but I do want to recommend like a good scalp cleanser to help remove the buildup whenever you wash your hair okay. to make sure that the scalp is healthy and it's not experiencing any clog, like they're not clogged basically. Okay. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and save this right now. So based on what you're telling me, I'm going to go ahead and pull some products aside okay. um, and talk to you a little bit more about it. Okay. okay, I'll be right back. Okay. So I didn't even all my scalp before I came here, but I just think it's the, you know, like, I think it's just the product that is just laying on my scalp. But that was nasty. That was so nasty. So you guys gotta see my scalp. So yeah. Here we go again. I gotta pay these bills, save something. I need 10 more hours in a day. These are like in the shower system that I want to help rub, that I want to recommend for you. First, I want to show you the scalp cleanser. Okay. I think using a really good scalp cleanser will be really good for like the scalp itself. Mm -hmm. A lot of the times, people with like super thick hair experience a little bit more buildup just because sometimes the shampoo does not have the ability to travel through like the thickness of the hair to like really get into the scalp. Mm -hmm. So a scalp cleanser is really good because it helps promote balance. Okay. This has a nozzle bottle too so you can directly go with the nozzle into the scalp okay. or you can apply it into your hands and just massage it into your scalp okay. um, also I want to make you smell spray this to your scalp just to kind of help them look a little bit more of like a healthier scalp it's really good for improving the circulation this is something that you can apply um, every day yeah. into the scalp a few sprays and just kind of massage it in this is also really good because it has a um, salicylic acid inside of it, which is also really good into the scalp to help kind of clarify a little bit more. And then you just apply that all over. In my space. I wanna be in love. Other times I just wanna give up. I need to learn to trust, but I can't. Got problems that I'm dealing with. So many, so many, so many mistakes I made. So many, so many, so many But I gotta find a way To make it through today I'm leaning on I'm leaning on a so many things oh, Everything's gonna be Gonna be um, okay There's five products that I want to recommend for you Because you mentioned you want <clears throat> You want a little bit more 
little bit of insecticide of course, but you also make sure that you use gel. Yeah. So I want to recommend our gel. Okay. So for styling as well as for like kind of like that, um, you mentioned you, you put a little bit of like this buttery textured yeah. product in your hair. This is kind of similar to that. Oh, okay. It's called the Universal Styling Cream by Adina. Mm -hmm. This has jojoba oil, which is amazing for moisture. Um, I love the aroma. How, so you put this on it and then you use the brush? Uh, no, the brush oh, how does uh, it work? not in the shower. It's like a before shower Oh, thing. before the it's shower. It's like exfoliating scalp brush. So overall, I enjoyed my experience at Aveda. I learned so much about my scalp. And it's very important for us to make sure that our scalps is well cleansed. And we do the right things by our scalp. And for me, this was a great experience for me to do that. So thank you so much all of you for watching i truly appreciate it and i also appreciate being able to go to this um store aveda to check it out not sponsored <laughs> okay we'll see you in the next video thanks for watching bye Get